for the Honda Civic, three petrol units were offered with a volume of 1.4 liters, 83 horsepower, 1.8 liters, 140 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 200 horsepower, as well as 2.2 liter turbo diesel. In Europe, a hybrid Civic was sold with a 1.3 liter engine and an electric motor, 20 horsepower. We only had petrol versions in use, sedans and hatchbacks with a 1.8 liter, 4, 140 horsepower, and a three-door Type R with 2 liters, 200 horsepower. The most massive 1.8 liter unit has a design feature. The catalyst, combined with the exhaust manifold, is practically integrated into the cylinder head. And because the motor turned out to be unnecessarily heat-loaded, this should be remembered and monitor the health of the cooling system. For example, a clogged radiator or a failed thermostat can cause the head to warp. Repair, from 15,000 rubles. A malfunction of the fan switch sensor, which is located in the lower radiator tank, also leads to overheating. Get ready for the fact that after several winters the radiator itself fails from road reagents, 12,500 rubles. On cars with a mileage of 150,000 kilometers, the seals of the crankshaft and camshaft flow, and more often the intake valve shaft. The detail costs a penny, and the work, from 1500 rubles. If the starter stops turning, do not rush to lay out 7000 rubles. For a new part, it is usually enough to replace the solenoid relay. The 1.8L engine with timing chain and IBTEC valve lift system has one design feature, low idle, only 650 RPM. Therefore, at idle, it works with noticeable vibrations. For preventive purposes, it is recommended to flush the injection nozzles, 2,500 rubles, every 30,000 kilometers. The manual on a Civic can easily outlive the engine itself. The key to its longevity is an oil change, 2,300 rubles, after 60,000 kilometers. The robot, built on the basis of the mechanics, cannot boast of such survivability, mechatronics periodically mopes. Transmission. A 5-speed manual, since 2008, 6-speed was combined with the 1.4-liter base engine, and a six-speed mechanics or its robotic version, as well as a variator, were combined with the rest of the engines. For the Russian versions of the Civic, the alignment was somewhat different. Hatchbacks were equipped with six-speed gearboxes, manual and robotic. The sedans in the database included a manual, six-speed, and a five-speed hydromechanical automatic, which since 2010 has also been installed on hatchbacks. Manual and automatic traditionally durable, but the robotic mechanics or an amateur who prefers a measured ride, but there are few of these among the Civic robots. In addition, the operation of the robot causes a lot of problems. For example, if the electronics do not recognize a neutral gear, the engine may not start at all. In this case, you should walk through the gears of the box several times, and it may change its mind. Due to the incorrect operation of the box, the clutch overheats, which lives an average of 50 to 80,000 kilometers. In addition, it is periodically required to reflash the electronic control unit of the box. In servicemen slang, this is called learning mode or setting the clutch setting point. The clutch usually withstands 120,000 kilometers and changes as an assembly with the release bearing, basket, and disc. External CV joints do not work for long, 5,000 rubles each which are also changed for 50,000 kilometers. Therefore, at each MOT it is necessary to check the condition of their anthers. The interior of the Civic sedan does not look as extravagant as the hatchback, but you can't call it classic at all. Chassis and body. Depending on the body of the Honda Civic, the suspension design also differs. In a sedan, it is completely independent, while in a hatchback, a twisted H-beam is installed at the back. The running gear is very strong, among the weak points, one can single out the support bearings of the front struts, 1,700 rubles each, which were changed under warranty for 30,000 kilometers. By this time, shock absorbers were leaking on early cars, 3,700 rubles each. But ball bearings are considered to be practically eternal, and stabilizer struts and bushings, 1,500 rubles per side, live up to 100,000 kilometers. In the rear suspension, the springs turned out to be weak, due to which the car sagged with the full load. Shock absorbers punched for 50,000 kilometers. This issue has been resolved since 2010. In the suspension with McPherson struts, perhaps, there is only one weak point, the thrust bearings of these same struts. If you feel a creaking spring sound when you turn the steering wheel, 
to prepare 5,000 rubles to replace them. In steering, the rake upsets with Knox to 50 to 70,000 kilometers. Officials sentence her to a replacement under warranty. And today, in specialized services, they are limited to replacing a worn plastic bushing on its shaft. Steering tips, 1850 rubles each, loosen up to 80,000 kilometers. The body is strong and not friendly with corrosion, with the exception of the rear fenders on sedans, hatchbacks did not have such problems. True, the chrome parts of the body become cloudy from chemical reagents. Most of all goes to the radiator grill, the replacement of which, from 5,800 rubles. On sedans, the rear wings rusted in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B wheel arches and door frames. Painting of one body element, from 7,500 rubles. Often, the driver's door glass fell out of their seals due to the skew of the window guides. And in the electrics, the heater motor fails, 2,800 rubles. A regular battery with a capacity of 45 R serves three years. Modifications. A charged version of the Civic Type R appeared in Russia at the very end of 2007. The car, which was produced exclusively in a three-door body, surprised with a non-standard approach to design. On the one hand, it has an ultra-modern atmospheric torsional, maximum speed reaches 7,800 RPM, engine with a volume of 2 liters and a power of 201 horsepower. This is more than 100 forces per liter of working volume. And on the other hand, in the rear suspension there is an ordinary twisted semi-dependent beam. Nonsense for a hot hatchback. True, Japanese engineers claim that they set up a semi-independent suspension no worse than the previous multi-link. The five-door hatchback repeats the three-door in overall dimensions and wheelbase length, which is 50 millimeters less than the sedan. But the hatchback interior looks more futuristic, and the controls are laid out unmistakably. Only the engine start button located to the left of the steering wheel takes some getting used to. Interestingly, the rear wiper for hatchbacks is not provided at all, and there is no floor tunnel in the rear of the cabin. Restyling In the fall of 2008, the Civic underwent an upgrade, and restyled cars got to Russia at the beginning of next year. For sedans, the shape of the front bumper was changed, and the fog lights became round instead of rectangular. The new grille added solidity to the car. These few innovations gave the sedan a bit of expressiveness and respectability. But for hatchbacks, only the radiator lining was changed in front, but the Civic looks different. True, there is an opinion that the nostrils that appeared violated the harmony of the previous version. Inside, too, there are innovations. On sedans, a differently designed center console is striking. And in the futuristic hatchback interior, everything remained the same, except for the selector of the five-speed automatic before the Civic had a robotic transmission, which did not suit many owners.